Hey guys, how are you? Um, tonight I am all natural. I just got a facial and um, I've also gotten some feedback that I always look perfect. So I want to show that like I don't wake up with like my makeup, my makeup and hair done every day. So tonight I want to talk to you about something that I've been dealing with for a while and my, at the urging of my doctor, she really wants me to get the word out and I'm going to get a little technical and explaining kind of um, what what um, MTHFR is tonight. And I really urge you to stick with me and listen, especially if you are a woman who has been on birth control and are suffering from hormone imbalances, thyroid imbalances, maybe heart issues, high cholesterol, palpitations, murmurs. If you have gut issues, maybe you don't even know that you have gut issues, but if, you know, after you eat, you feel like you have irritable bowel symptoms um, or discomfort after eating quite frequently, and if you have depression and anxiety, it's really important that you listen to me because this really might be the missing piece for you. So um, as far back as in my 20s, um, I believe I was seeing issues with what I'm going to discuss tonight. Um, I had difficulty getting over illnesses, and I would get a lot of frequent sinus infections and illnesses. Um, and that kind of plagued me, you know, through my young adulthood. And um, I guess the most troubling um, issue that I, when it first started, was with my first pregnancy. Um, I had, a, I did have difficulty getting pregnant, and the pregnancy was actually picture perfect up until 34 weeks in which um, I was diagnosed with preeclampsia. It was very sudden, and it was very traumatic because it was my first pregnancy, and you know I had my son about six weeks early, and I always asked why, why I had preeclampsia, and. You know, most doctor, well, every doctor I talked to until I met Dr. Pavtis really couldn't give me a reason. They said it just happens, that preeclampsia happens. A lot of naturopaths told me that it's linked with low protein during your pregnancy. And while I certainly didn't have the perfect diet um, during pregnancy, I don't know that I, like, had no protein. I, that just didn't ring true for me. But I did have a lot of guilt for a lot of years thinking that I did something um, to cause the, the, the pregnancy complications. So I actually had complications in my second pregnancy as well, but I do credit um, getting through it without preeclampsia because I was being treated homeopathically at a naturopathic doctor, although they did not know what the issue or the cause was of the preeclampsia. I had um, pregnancy-induced hypertension and I was on bed rest and I had my second son about a month early. So not as early, but he was still early. So that always troubled me. And then um, about four or five years ago, overnight, my hair started falling out. And um, this was right after my second bodybuilding competition. So I was really in the best shape of my life, although my prep preparation for that second competition was very intense. I I was at um, very low calories, um, I had very low energy, and it just was very hard for me. I was under a lot of stress in my personal life at the same time. So um, I do believe that the stresses that I was putting on my body and my inability to ha handle stress contributed to all this. Actually, I know it did, but um, I do believe that the MTHFR, which I'm gonna talk about, was really the catalyst for it. So my hair started falling out. I started feeling like crap, um, had no energy. I felt swollen and inflamed all the time. So it just only caused me to work out harder, but I could barely get through workouts. I would go get blood tests from my doctor, naturopath. They said everything was normal. My hormones were normal. My thyroid was normal, but I knew it was not normal. Um, so this went on for like about a year with really no answer. And then finally, I was diagnosed with hyperthyroidism um, in about 2015, and I started on um, medication, natural desiccated hormone replacement through um, pork 
thyroid, so I wasn't on synthetic except for a short time. Um, but then it just kept getting worse and worse, and my hormones started becoming imbalanced, so much so I lost my cycle. Um, my hormones, my progesterone and, and testosterone were very low, and I, you know, tried several, many different naturopathic doctors, and they never had an explanation. They just said, once your thyroid starts failing as much as it is, it's probably never going to come back. And I didn't really like the answer, and I just kept getting higher and higher prescription for my thyroid med, and my th my hormones kept getting more messed up and more messed up. Um, you know, this has so many effects, like on your sex drive, on your mood, on your hair. My hair still has not recovered. Um, and, you know, depression, anxiety, just all sorts of things. So I have been going to acupuncture for years. And my acupuncturist would always make comments that he said that, he said that my liver is not functioning right. Well, I do admit that I, I drink socially and maybe more than some, but, um, you know, and I guess who am I to judge that? But I didn't seem like it was as much, as much alcohol intake as that would like affect my liver function. So he would always treat me, you know, for liver function, but I really didn't understand what that meant. And um, none of my other, except one doctor, she noticed that my folate was low. I was low on folate and B12 and that my liver enzymes were elevated. And she said, oh, we'll stop drinking so much wine. So, you know, I tried to cut back, but I still felt like crap. And um, I, I, I don't know, it was around May of last year, I was just like, what is, you know, I need answers. I was at a very low point in my health and um, I had actually been on um, hormone replacement to try to increase my hormones and it actually made me way worse. I gained like about seven or eight pounds. I was so depressed and I had so much anxiety and I just knew something was wrong. So I was kind of searching and I, it was like the liver thing. I was like, what is wrong with my liver? And I came across an article from an, um, a functional doctor saying that a lot of people are put on hormone replacement without doctors checking liver function. And when you are on hormone replacement with poor liver function, it causes abnormal responses to the hormones. So that was kind of my first clue. And then I went down the path of thinking that maybe my breast implants were causing the problem. And I'm not ruling out that perhaps someday that I've gotten better without taking them out. So I'm going to go on with my story. So, but that kind of thinking about that, thinking about, okay, um, you know, there's some kind of like, I'm having problems with detoxification. Your liver is what filters everything out. Maybe it is like my body can't handle the breast implants. So I, um, went into a breast implant illness group and I, I described my my symptoms and one of the women she happened to live here in the Phoenix metro area in Mesa said it sounds like the same symptoms I have and I have the MTHFR gene mutation I'm like what the hell is that she's like I'm seeing this doctor she does live blood analysis so she pricks your finger and looks at your blood under a microscope and she's in Mesa. So I was like, oh my God, you know, I need to, I just knew that I needed to see this woman. I actually got into her last appointment. I got in like the next day to see her. As soon as I um, went into Dr. Pavta, she looked at my blood and she's like, oh my Lord. She's like, she can see the MTH, MTHFR gene mutation in your blood. But in order to confirm that you have it, you need to get a blood test. She looked at my blood and she said, you absolutely have it. It's very bad. Your liver function is very poor. Um, you're malnourished, even though I eat like a super healthy diet. I'm not absorbing any of my nutrients. I'm low in a lot of the nutrients. Um, like my gallbladder function was very slow. Um, my gut was all messed up. I had heavy metals in my blood. I had um, candida and all sorts of bad things going on. So she's like, this is absolutely reversible and we're going to work on this. Um, so, but it has taken time. So I'm going to go through what MTHFR is. I need to refer to a handout because it does get a little complicated. So um, 
MTHFR is a gene that provides the body with instructions for making certain a certain enzyme. I'm not going to pronounce the enzyme, but the short version, the acronym is MTA, MTHFR. So when you eat foods that contain folic acid, MTHFR converts it into methylfolate, and methylfolate is critical for methylation. That means processing everything in your body. So it's the methylation occurs in your liver, I believe. So if someone listens to this and I said it wrong, um, please correct me. But it happens in your liver and everything is filtered through your liver. All of your nutrients, every vitamin, all your hormones, any um, toxins that are in your body. So it helps optimize a huge number of processes um, including the production of DNA, your metabolism of hormones, and proper detoxification. So um, it's actually pretty common. I think like up to 40% have a mutation. You can have one mutation, which is heterozygous, or you can have two mutations, which is homozygous, which I have two mutations, and they're passed from parent to child. So one of my, one or both of my parents, you know, pass this on. So the more variations or the more mutations you have, the more problems you have methylating. So um, it says it's like it converts nutrients in your diet to active vitamins, minerals, and proteins. So um, it, it affects neurotransmitter levels, brain func function, digestion, cholesterol levels, so much. And so... Dr. Pav just saw my, my blood and she's like, I don't believe that you ever, well, you never had a thyroid problem. It started with, you are not properly methylating and I hadn't for years because problems started in my pregnancy um, and folate's really important in your pregnancy. And my body, when I take supplements, especially B12, it cannot process um, most forms of B12. So it actually makes you feel worse. My, it just gets stuck in my body. And um, it started with a hormone imbalance, and the hormone imbalance in turn caused the, high, the, the hypothyroidism. So it's not true hypothyroidism. It's like a symptom of my poor methylation. So, and it also, I believe, because I now see the connection between my depression and methylation and my having problems with methylation, and I'll explain that in a second. So, um, so the long and short of it, I'm seeing Dr. Pavtis. She is providing me nat supplements to, she helped first heal my gut and she's is aiding in my liver um, functioning better and she's aiding in the methylation. Um, it's been like eight months. It's really been a process. Some months are better than others, and then she needs to adjust my my um, supplements. But I'm now at the point, and I guess I will just throw it out there. I was without my period for a year, and while maybe it started because I um, was at a pretty low body fat, I was training. That's what lots of my perfect pictures look like because I trained for a, um, a fitness shoot and for a conference I was going to. Um, I believe, you know, not having my cycle was because my hormones were all messed up and it did not help taking the synthetic hormones because of my liver methylation problems and they were just stuck in my body. So now I have a cycle again. Um, I'm taking a supplement pregnenolone to help. It's like the mother of all hormones and it's working. It's absolutely working. My hormones are normal now. Um, I'm also taking natural supplement to increase my testosterone. And I've now started weaning off my hypothyroidism medication, which is like the best thing of my life. Um, Cause I just didn't want to be on it for the rest of my life, but it's a slow process because once you're, body, once your thyroid gets used to natural assistance, it's not working properly. So we have to back off um, very slowly. So, you know, I've had depression on and off for many, many years. And it's like really crazy now to actually connect this, my depression with this MTHFR gene mutation. So I was doing pretty good, but I got really sick after Christmas. I got the flu, and then I got um, some upper respiratory infection. 
and my depression got so bad. So I contacted Dr. Pavtish and she said, it's because your methylation is slowed because your immune system's compromised and that's what's causing all the depression. I was like having crazy thoughts. So she um, upped one of my supplements, it, which is actually the form of B12 and um, the actual supplement that helps with my MTHFR and that helped a lot, which was amazing. So um, if you are a woman that is having kind of mystery health symptoms and you don't know why, you haven't really gotten answers, um, Dr. Pavtis says that the most common she, symptoms she sees is um, women who have been on birth control. So if you have been on birth control and have the MTHFR gene mutation, that birth control is giving you synthetic estrogen and your body cannot methyl, you cannot synthesize it. So that is a catalyst for causing a lot of issues. And I was on birth control for six years. And um, so she says that it's paired with women who have been on birth control. So that is triggering this, these issues. So it's really epige epigenetic. Some people can have these mutations and be fine but I believe the birth control and then high levels, levels of stress that I did not manage well back in the day were the catalyst, catalyst to these problems. So hormone imbalances, thyroid imbalances. I mean, there is just like, a, like an absolute like avalanche of women with thyroid imbalances these days, and they really don't have an answer for it. Heart issues, high cholesterol, palpitations, murmurs, gut issues, and depression and anxiety. Now, I want to be very clear. Your regular doctor, the regular um, family practice doctor, or even like a specialist, an allopathic doctor that believes in medicine to like actual prescriptions to um, solve issues will not test for this. They actually, I think a lot of them dismiss this as an issue. You know, some might not, but I think as on the whole most, and I went to half a dozen naturopaths and they all missed this, totally missed this. So this is not a well-known thing that they're looking at. Um, um, Dr. Pavtis has, goes to a lot of conferences and she said that she asked some doctors about it and they said, well, insurance doesn't typically pay to be tested for this, so they just don't pay attention to it at all. And that, my friends, is the problem with our health system. And I just urge you, if you feel like you have unresolved health issues and you just can't get an answer, look further into this. If you're local, Dr. Pavtis is awesome. She's at Nevi Health in Mesa. Um, so I hope I, this shed some light. I didn't introduce myself at the beginning of this of this. Um, of this video, but my name is Hillary Rank and I'm a health coach and I help women look and feel great in their 40s and beyond without deprivation diets or intense workouts. So I'm talking about how the MTHFR gene mutation, I've never had even heard of it until eight months ago, how it's completely changed my life, um, becoming aware of it and being treated for the issues that it has caused that has completely turned my health around. And I was struggling with hormone imbalance and hypothyroidism. I had pregnancy complications. I have had a lot of, at the time once I realized that that was the cause of my preeclampsia, I did have quite a bit of anger about it because I'm very fortunate that my son did not have more problems besides just being premature. He is completely healthy, but many serious, more serious problems can happen. Um, so I had some anger that this wasn't caught, and if I would have been treated during pregnancy, my pregnancy would have gone very different. Um, so I just want to get the word out. Dr. Pautis really also encouraged me to get the word out because she just sees so many women with these issues, and the trigger is birth control. So um, you may not have any issues, especially men who have the MTHFR gene mutation, but being on birth control can trigger the issues and intense stress. So here are some natural treatments. Like if you um, want to start doing this on your own, if you're not sure. Um, so support detoxification through like a healthy diet. I had already had that down. Dr. Um, Pavtis never changed my diet. She's like, it's good already. 
but eat a high fiber diet, 30 to 50 grams per day. Eat an anti-inflammatory diet filled with vegetables, good quality protein, healthy fats and fruits. Everyone knows this. Remove refined sugars. Um, work out at least four to five times a week and um, take Epsom salts baths to support the sweating and detoxification. Because if you have MTHFR gene mutation, you do not detoxify well. Um, keep your gut moving, so drink lots of water. I mean, this is like a give, gimme. Um, take advantage of certain specific supplements like antioxidants, fiber, and phytonutrients that help support detoxification. And avoid exposure to toxins like chemical house cleaners. Okay, I want to touch on that before I sign off. I have started to clean up the things that I put on my skin. I wash my clothes in separate detergent because my husband doesn't like the absence of smell and natural detergent. Um, I've started replacing my um, beauty products with natural, um, natural um, ingredients. But I have not I have not removed my breast implants. That was something that I was looking at, and I do think you know that's probably not great. But I am getting better without removing them, and I actually feel the best I've felt in years. So at this point, I'm not actively doing that because it's quite looking into doing that. I'm not ruling it out in the future. But I know that there is lots of women who have had very serious illness, and they tie it back to that. But um, anyway, that's not something I'm looking at. So, you know, that's just my choice. But um, I also, all my heavy metals are removed from my blood. But just to let women know, when you get your hair done, um, the dyes have heavy metals in it. So there's supplements you can take to help prevent that, which is um, NAC, vitamin C, and oh, lipo lipolinolic acid so anyway my doctor has had me take that when I get my hair colored um, and if you have this you do not absorb b12 well so if you notice that if you take like many of the supplements or energy drinks with b12 in it and you might feel good at first but then you feel like shit afterwards that could be a symptom of the MTHFR um, minimize alcohol intake mm -hmm. um, <laughs> If you are going to, because it inhibits methylation, if you decide to drink alcohol, they do recommend that you drink like tequila, vodka, or just like a pure alcohol instead of wine and beer. Um, and then watch your folic acid. A lot of like breads and like, cereals, if you eat that kind of thing, have folic acid added, and that's going to make you feel like crap too. So, and you know, work on your gut health. So, um, eat fermented foods, take a probiotic, reduce your intake of inflammatory foods such as sugar, gluten, refined grains, and conventional dairy. I had already eaten, I already ate dairy and gluten free, so that has helped significantly. Um, gut friendly foods like bone broth, organic vegetables and fruit, flax seeds, and chia seeds. So, anyway, you know, obviously, just like a, a healthy lifestyle is going to help someone with MTHFR. I don't. I was going to look up the um, the author name, but if you guys are interested in learning more about this, there's a book called Dirty Genes, and it talks about this. Um, I really feel like it is not a well known thing that causes a lot of health issues. And again, you might not necessarily have health issues, but certain things trigger it, like stress and birth control. So I've talked long enough. It's like been 25 minutes. So you guys have a great night. Um, I will talk to you soon. And let me know if you have any questions. I'd be happy to help you or answer the questions. All right? Bye.